Some of the attributes of a good compliance officer are, some of the questions the board should ask the compliance officer are, here are my thoughts on whistleblowing. Some of the warning signs that the compliance program is not working are, one of the most important things to understand about the compliance officer's role is. What is the definition of a good compliance officer? The definition of a great compliance officer is really different from what most people think. Most people think, in particular, they have to have a lot of legal experience. If that were true, then a lot of the problems we had in business would have been solved years ago because we've had a lot of legal experience in our businesses. The definition of a good compliance officer, in my opinion, is someone who can work with high-level people in the organization effectively. Someone who has years of experience dealing with very serious issues and is unafraid to raise the issues to people who sometimes might be frustrated that those issues have to be dealt with. Uh, an effective compliance officer needs what I would consider a, an administrative background. Um, where they've learned skills of collaboration, negotiation, compromise, uh, these sorts of things that will make them uh, more successful in helping people deal with very serious issues. What type of personality should a compliance officer have? The best personality a compliance officer has is, is kind of an interesting question. There are actually two personalities I would say first that they shouldn't have. One is uh, chicken or chicken little. There are issues that require great strength and the individual has to be able to uh, debate and collaborate and compromise with very high level people and they can't run off the minute there is resistance. They also can't run up and down the hall with their hair on fire with every little issue uh, that comes along. Uh, the, the most effective personality of a compliance officer is one who knows when to make a big deal out of the big issues and knows when to let the little things go and that when there's an issue that needs to be dealt with, they, they deal with it with a high emotional IQ and they stay calm and they do an effective job of getting their points across. How often should the board meet with its compliance officer? The board should meet with the compliance officer once a year. They should have a series of questions available to them to ask the compliance officer to see how they're going. The second thing the board should do at least once a year is get some education from the compliance officer about compliance programs and the compliance officer's role and make sure they stay up to date. The audit committee of the board should meet four times a year. These are all rough estimates, but the audit committee should meet about four times a year with the compliance officer and get into a lot more detail about what investigations are going on, uh, what are they hearing from the hotline, what are some of the current hot risk areas and these sorts of thing, things. The, the only exception to all this would be if there are some serious compliance issues uh, being investigated at the moment, particularly by uh, uh, prosecutors, uh, the board should meet uh, as often as necessary to stay informed about the current major issues. To what degree should a board be involved in a company's compliance program? The board's involvement in the compliance program is twofold, uh, primarily. One is, is to make sure that all employees understand that, that the compliance program is important and that message has to be very strong from the board. Uh, the other uh, thing that the board can do that is most helpful is make sure that the compliance officer has support uh, from them so that when others uh, resist the implementation of effective compliance program or resist some sort of investigation, that the compliance officer understands that the board has their back. What are some of the questions a board member should ask the compliance officer? The board should ask the compliance officer, 
is whether or not there is any filtering of the information coming from the compliance officer to the board. They should also ask uh, if the compliance program is being implemented without restriction and they should ask if there's any investigations they're doing that are being impeded by anyone else. Another question they might ask the compliance officer, if anybody with a conflict of interest is having influence or inappropriate influence on the compliance and ethics program. They might also ask a little bit about the resources, if they're adequate resources, but they should make sure that they involve the CEO with regard to the resource question. Uh, it's important to make sure that he or she has a, a say in keeping a balance between compliance and all other expenses. What are your thoughts on whistleblowing? I think it's very important for the organization to pay close attention to people who have complaints, who are addressing uh, concerns. But the problem that I think we need to address is is some of the organizations that are encouraging people to go outside in immediately. It, our organizations need a chance to resolve the problem. They need to be uh, told what the problem in is in as great a detail as possible. Uh, so I'm all for whistleblowing so long as the individuals who have concerns make sure that their organization has a fair chance to fix the problem before they go outside. What should a company do when a whistleblower raises an issue internally? The first thing that a compliance officer should do when a whistleblower raises an issue within the company is to ask a lot of questions. Sometimes people are a little nervous or shy or afraid and they don't share everything they know. And the most important first step is to get all the information uh, they can. And when I was a compliance officer, uh, I tried to make sure that if they were not anonymous, if I knew who the individual was, I got back to them on a regular basis about how the investigation was going. And obviously, the, the third and final thing is to uh, make sure that the accusation is, is investigated thoroughly without uh, any filtering or prejudice. Just get the facts, get all the facts, and present them to the right people to make sure a good decision can be made and to do all this as, as quickly as possible while, while remaining effective in your investigation. Is compliance often seen as another form of risk management? Many people believe that compliance is a subset of risk management or legal or ethics or audit. Compliance is a set of tools that include all four of these things to prevent fine effects, ethical and regulatory problems. Compliance is not a subset of these tools. Compliance is a coordinated use of all these tools to prevent fine and fix problems.